Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 113. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Romo. Hello. Hey, Romo. How are you, man? Awesome, awesome. Thank you. So, um, you're new to this, right? Yes. So, mind introducing yourself to the people who not know who you are and what you do? Right. Hello, everyone. I am the R to the O to the M L A D, and ain't no other brother can do an intro like me. I'm Rolicious. <laughs> This new artist, amateur, blacksmith, electrician, former cashier, former sales agent, former charity worker. Basically, long story short, I am a cutie mark crusader of real life. <laughs> I am looking for what I want to do in life for a living. What will bring the bacon on the table? Ah, I see. And so far, so good. Well, I've learned a thing or two, but haven't learned what is my trade. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm not as decorated as you. I only had a charity work on, sorry, a charity work and an apprentice for a subcontractor under my belt. I'm unemployed at the moment. I am also, bro. My factory is closing down because of this whole conflict with Russia. <laughs> yeah, factory lost all its contractors and now they're shutting down. So, yeah, I'm also unemployed. So, I know them feels. Yeah. And also, we have Gonzo. Hello, Gonzo. Hello. Um, you seem tired. You just call me waking up. <laughs> you just woke up, eh? I'm sorry. Pretty much. Um, now, well, I needed to wake up before noon anyways. But I've been having problems with sleep, so hopefully I can get all this um, straightened up. Ah, you're not the only one, man. You're not the only one. And also joining us is Corner Energy. Did you just call me Corner Energy? <laughs> I got no idea. It's NG? Eh? It's NG. NG. So, Corner NG. <laughs> you can just call me Corner. That's the easiest. Go to your corner. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm already there, actually. <laughs> uh, well, how are you, man? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing really well. So, you're like Rommel new to this, right? Yeah, completely new. Ah, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? Okay, since no one knows who I am and what I do, I am Corner NG, or Corner, as most people like to call me. I appreciate art. I appreciate what people do, since I can't do it myself. I'd want to, but that takes time. And, uh, that ta- yeah, that takes time and that takes measures, which I don't have yet. I would like to be an artist like Rom Yoldor. Norman. You don't want to be an artist like me, bro. You want to be yeah. something like James Cork. Yay, and talking about James Cork, he's not here this week because he's helping with the Germans and the kids. <laughs> uh, to be more specific, the crew at Galacon and your sibling at the Kiddies T4 live stream. He'll be there, and when you're listening to this, you already missed it. <laughs> uh, timing. But before we start, um, Romo, favorite character? My favorite character would probably be Vinyl Scratch or Octavia. I got a thing for musical ponies and music and overall. They're like muses to me. They give me inspiration. But they don't talk. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I just They just inspire me by their very presence. I know when I first saw Vinyl, I was like, oh my goodness, that mane, those glasses, that cutie mark. I know, it was... Just, it was it was that tingly sensation within when I first saw it. It's like, you know, first love, I guess. You know, like, oh. in, like, in, like in childhood, when you, when you, you, everyone had this moment in childhood when you saw a really gorgeous character and you just fall in love with it. Well, I'm still having one of those episodes, so. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, um, Vinyl and Octi are awesome. Yes, they are. Uh, favorite episode? Uh, not even sure. I like all of them episodes. The, the entire show is really well made. I enjoyed every single episode. It's a really big field trip. I can relate to so many things in the show. Ah, that's cool. So I cannot as actually, actually say because I like every single one of them. Any particular one that pops into your mind right now? Uh, no, I, I can't. I can't choose. They're all amazing. I love the show and overall. <laughs> okay. The I... entire thing is perfect. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll just put it in all, every episode, season one to season four. <laughs> yeah, 
that would be the way, the best way to explore. That would, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Connor, what about you? Favorite character, favorite episode? Uh, well, pony-wise, my favorite character is Applejack, but if we can go above it, then I'd have to say Discord. Mm. Well, that's why I say character and not pony. Yep. So I'll, I'll have to go with Discord. Discord? I think you're the second guy to say Discord as your favorite. Why Discord? Huh? Uh, I just love how crazy he is and, like, uh, he's basically, like, uh, chaotic evil. <laughs> he just... He typically just does whatever he wants and doesn't, like, give a crap. I won't say he's chaotic evil. I will say he's chaotic neutral. Uh, maybe. Oh, well, he is now, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's now, at least. Yeah, but back then, he was chaotic all over the place. <laughs> he was chaotic, that's it. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of chaos, so it works. Mm-hmm. The voice and... actor is the guy who played Q in Star Trek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all going to be topsy-turvy. And favorite episode? I'll have to go with the Return of Harmony and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Ah, okay. The Return of Harmony is the Discord one. And, uh, and also that's involved. With, okay, now I can see the pattern there. All right. <laughs> 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 okay, you got me there. And Gonzo, refresh your memory. Favorite character, favorite episode? Currently, I'm still hung up between Fluttershy, Rarity, and Miss Harshwini. So far, my favorite episode seems to be... Uh, it seems to be part of one. Ah. So. so no changes then. Oh, uh, you're going to love today's episode because Miss Harshwini was there. Hmm, I've heard. Yeah, it's called a question games and she's been leading up to that. So, yeah. <laughs> but anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is news time. In today's news time, Gothic style ponies popping up on Tabao. What much can we say about this? If you like the brushable ponies and you like gothic fashion, you're in luck. A seller on Taobao is selling a gothic style Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Princess Celestia, Photo Finish, and Fluttershy. Links can be found in the show notes. So yeah, um, Taobao ponies, got ponies, yay. Um, anybody interested in this? Um, um, I have, I'm sorry to be rude, but these are not the kind of goth ponies that I... That I kind of had in mind. Um, knowing, <laughs> let's just say that I've been around a blog long enough to know that some of this doesn't look ideally like uh, the goth uh, lifestyle. But it's kid friendly goth. <laughs> I know, but there are some. But there are some looks on the goth that um, isn't really, you know, like, you know, grim dark or uh, not safe for work. Um, we're talking um, like. Like some of the kids that were some of the kids that were satirizing satirizing Goth mm-hmm. in uh, uh, South Park, you oh, know yeah. that? Yeah, I remember them. Yep. Yeah, basically somewhat like them, <laughs> just wearing you know just wearing black, not looking you know bright, uh, just you know grim. Well, to, you're a pastel colored pony, and being all dark is kind of hard. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I know. From what I can look, it's nice. Like, if you like the brushables, it's nice. I would have to say that Princess Celestia's fashion choice is a bit questionable. Oh, very questionable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, given her reputation that we <laughs> shall not go into. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering why. Why did they do this? Why? I I don't know. It's hard to explain with Hasbro. Um, Sometimes they're quite questionable with trying to put their toys out and uh, add, like, you know, different styles and whatnot. The way I see it, I'm thinking Hazel was probably experimenting with some styles, I'm guessing. Maybe they got some new artists in the department. That's sort of jazz, I'm guessing. Mm, okay. But overall, the appearance kind of, I don't I mean, I like it, but at the same time, I'm thinking this would have been something I'd see in, during the, season, the third generation <laughs> MLP. Just saying. Uh, okay. Connor? Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to know, are these, like, actually, like, made by Hasbro, or, or are these, like, by a third company? 
No, it's Hasbro, but it's um, how do I put this? It fell off the truck from China, kind of situation. Oh, so, yeah. This these are the rejected ones that um, did not pass the QA. No, not QA. Um, the QC. So okay, quality control. In case yeah. you didn't know, yeah. I did. Yeah, in that case, I have to say uh, these things are creepy. <laughs> To, to put it lightly, like, this is something, uh, someone who, like, doesn't really probably like ponies and wants to, like, make them all ugly and some stuff. Oh, so I wouldn't, this, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say total dislike them. I probably would have guessed that they'd never seen the show and that they just winged it. <laughs> that could be, that could be. Uh, I like your explanation, but, uh, um, Gonzo. But still, but still, uh, I have to give props to Pinkie Pie. Um, she looks like the ultimate warrior. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, honestly, hey. when, I lo- when, I look at, when I look at Pinkie Pie, I mean to think of the rock band Kiss. That's brilliant. We're guys uh, talking about dolls. Uh, let's move on. I, I don't think we can. What's wrong about more. that? <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong, what's wrong with that? Oh, come on. A guy makes a living on talking about dolls and toys and whatnot. Why can't we talk about them? Yeah. Uh, we got, no, we're not pros in this. Let's move on before we make... Well, we um, got to start somewhere. <laughs> so true. But anywho, moving on to the next news. Mother clarifies Creepy Stranger story at BabsCon. All right. I've heard about oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. This but anywho, if you have been on the Tumblrverse, you would have heard the story of the creepy stranger at Babscon. An anti-brony Tumblr told the story of how the creepy stranger tried to get an 11-year-old girl up to his hotel room and how they protected her from the nefarious stranger causing her harm. Ooh. With any story that involves pedophilia... People would like to have a little more information and clarification about the story. With so many contradictions in the blog, people have wrote it off as some kind of anti-brony propaganda. How do you blame him? Yeah. Well, it's an, <laughs> isn't it an anti-brony Tumblr? Isn't it supposed to be propaganda? <laughs> so true. Isn't that the main purpose? <laughs> true. Yeah, pretty much. But anywho, unfortunately, the story is part true. The mother for the child has responded to Babscon about the matter and has clarified certain aspects about the story. But all in all, she was sorry about the anti-brony rant and how Babscon did not deserve it. Full story can be found in the show notes. So guys, this is kind of... no. Well, yeah. this... Brings a whole new light to the situation. I've heard, I've pretty much seen this thing spread around like wildfire on Tumblr, mm-hmm. and uh, I, like I said, I thought it was entirely made up. Just because, well, it ha- always happens with about every con. Somebody would, um, <laughs> okay, I'm not supposed to mention the story, so I'm just not going. I'm just going to restrain myself. Right. Somebody will go over the line and do stuff that they're not supposed to do. In the case of Bronin, of all the conventions, be it BroningCon or BassCon or basically other kinds of cons too, you know, your Comic Con, uh, Anime Con, and all that stuff. They all have rules and regulations as to what to do and what not to do. And supposedly that should have kept people from doing the kind of things that this blog had pretty much uh, described, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, um, from what I heard from the interview that Brony Time gave um, did with BabsCon, they didn't really knew that this went on. So, and also, like when when I mentioned the contradiction, there's a lot of contradicting things about the whole. Um, placement of uh, where was this, where was that, and um, the whole situation around the floor. It, it's it's just a lot of contradictions. But uh, uh, yeah, because if my memory serves me, the one post that I did see, they just said a brony convention. They didn't say it was an officially 
BabsCon or anything of that sort, which kind of set off a few warning bells. If I remember right, it was BabsCon because um, a, f- a non-brony friend of mine linked me the story. And unfortunately for me, I kind of like, what is this? Let me read it. Oh, no, not this. Ah, this is kind of no on all levels. But eh, it's kind of true, but not as bad as how the blog told it. I can safely say, though, um, I did hear about what was what was the what was one of the involved parties? Was it Sack Anime? Yeah, Sack Anime. Yeah, they're gonna get if if this goes through, Sack Anime is gonna get quite a bit of punishment. I mean, failing to like report something like this to the police and to the proper authorities, it's considered here a felony. Oh yeah, because because no matter the case. We cannot uh, take uh, a case of child abuse or pedophilia or stalking that kind of lightly. We're pretty much we're pretty much paranoid here in the states. So um, any problem any problems that should arise, we have to report it. Otherwise, uh, it's either going to um, it's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna like uh, sugarcoat it. Basically, if this stuff is true. You should have done something about it. It should have been stopped, and you will be taking full responsibility of it. Mm-hmm. Even if you didn't do the crime yourself, you should have reported it, and there would have been one less child who would be aff- whose life will be affected by this. And mm-hmm. we're talking the rest of their lives here. Oh, yeah, true, true. But like, like I said about the thing is, the, the mother kind of... Um, in the email that she wrote to BabsCon, um, she did say this. Um, we have had a serious discussion about all this and the importance of not exaggerating and not hiding this kind of thing from uh, mom or security. So, yay. Um, I, I guess one kid learned a lesson the hard way, but still, exaggeration from a kid. Still. Mm. Very exaggerant. And, ver- and this is probably... This is probably the kind of stuff that uh, that anti brownie blog wanted to happen. I mean, it's something that will probably try to stain the bronies worse off than it already is because bronies are evidently scum of the earth and we were just an accident. We wasn't supposed to like bronies. And if memory serves me, we pretty much started off as a joke on 4chan, but that pretty much... Um, blew us out of the water <laughs> and people started to really like the show and we're not talking as a joke now we're talking real life liking here oh yeah that's true that's true oh well it's one of those situations but um Romo Corner you haven't been quiet uh, we d- I didn't want to interrupt oh, yeah okay. me neither so, so yeah but still why do these anti-bronies even exist don't these guys have anything better to do uh, I, nope. I don't know but what about the whole story? I mean, um, ignoring the anti Rooney thing. What do you think about the whole thing? I'm still not quite convinced. I'm still not following what's happening. If, there, if it was an actual pedophile attempt or is it some kind of joke or an attempt to stain the community? So I'm not even sure what to say. If this was a pedophile attempt, then that's bad news. Well, in any case, it's bad news. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. As always is. Yeah, I, I, have, I have to agree with you. Uh, I mean, sure, the kid... Uh, apparently exaggerate the thing, but still, if something even like remotely like this happened, something should be done. Yeah, action must be taken. Yeah, yeah. I, I did remember reading the blog thing and um, and also a segment where the kid and the stalker was in the elevator, and in the anti brony post, they say that she was alone in the lift with the guy and in the statement we, at the mom told he, uh, I'm sorry at the mother that told in the statement here is that she was never alone there were a lot of people in the lift but she was scared um, granted it's a kind of creepy thing so yes no yeah and uh, uh, since the story told that the kid was like 11 years old and if a kid like that is not like really enclosed space with lots of strangers of course they're gonna get scared no matter what 
Yeah, I mean, it, I would. Yeah, that's true. But still, but still, but still, it's mm-hmm. one but of still. those situations where no bad touch, no mm-hmm. <laughs> stranger danger. What does Sonic say all the time? That's no good. <laughs> yep. Oh boys, no, but uh, we we can't really make fun or talk talk this up without really going into it and. We're not the show to talk about this. We're a happy-go-lucky show. Why do we know? No, but seriously. Well, but seriously. So these topics has to be brought up to aware to raise the awareness that there are some creeps out there, and we got to take caution. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, we you ha- we have to be careful, though. Sadly, there will be people out there who will kind of stay in the community, even though there might be people who might like make bad posts about it. Let's not let's not make a mistake here and think that there won't be any so, sort of sexual offender there. Oh yeah, I mean uh, I, I think this is a wake up call for everyone in the community because um, any convention is a public event. As long as you have the cash, you can go in, and with a place full of kids, predators would be there. It's a good hunting ground. Mm-hmm. And the con is not meant for us, adults. It's meant for everyone, including kids. So, yay, next time, please, be wary of that parents or guardian who have children bringing to conventions. But anywho, let's move on to the next topic. Since there's no guests and we got nothing to discuss, uh, we should end this early and spare you guys from the torturous things that is our voices. Yay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my voice is to be exact, but still, still. Um, moving on to shoutouts then. And my first shoutout goes to you, Romo, uh, and Connor, and Gonzo. Thank you for being on, and thank you for supporting me. It's an honor. Yeah, it's exactly, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a huge honor. Yeah, I'm sorry that James couldn't be on, but James, like I said before, was busy helping the kids. We don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> still, still. And what about you guys? Romo, shout outs. Oh, yeah. I would like to thank everyone for inviting me, for being part of this show, because I've never been part of any talk show, any show at all, actually. And this is a really, this was really exciting. Short, but really exciting. Ah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And Connor? Okay, I'd like to thank Gonzo for being a really great voice actor. I love your, I love your, I love your videos. I watch them now and then on YouTube. I would uh-huh. thank I would thank you, Rom, for being an awesome guy. It's really fun to play around with you. I want to thank you, Norman, for actually inviting me here. I still can't believe I'm actually allowed here. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank everyone who's listening to this. You guys are awesome. Yay! Everyone's awesome. Now, corner, go to the corner. I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> and Guns, what about you? A shout out to sleep because I'm gonna need it. Yay! Sleep is good. You just woke up. I still would love to sleep. Sleep is a sign of weakness. <laughs> My guess I can relate. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Well, uh, sleep is for the week, they say, but sleep is good. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. If you would like to reach us personally, emails are in the show notes. And you can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. CD Bot will just tweet about the show being out or complaining about the editings. But since this week there's no James, she'll be happy. And as for me, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I'll tweet about food, toys, kitty cats, and apparently magic. I've got no idea why. And what about you, Rom? Where can they find you online? And, and, and do you want to promote anything? Well, I just started a Tumblr, an Ask Tumblr. It seems to be a thing going on on Tumblr. You know, they, people create OCs and an Ask blog. They just allow people to throw questions at them, and they, they draw pictures according to the question. And that seemed, like, really fun, and I decided to do that as well. So, yeah. I started a blog. It's called Ask Jittery Lines. <laughs> That's my OC. Uh, the, sorry, but the kind of questions... What is it about? I'm afraid to ask. It's an ask blog. People, well, people will come to my blog if they find it, of course, and will ask me questions, and I will draw pictures according to the question or situation, you know. Yeah, but what's the character like? That's the oh, problem. The, oh, the character. Um, he's an a- yeah. he's an artist. Um, he why his name is Jittery Line is because his lines are always jittery. 
He can never draw a straight line. Ain't that the ain't that the strain of all artists nowadays, drawing that perfect straight line or a perfect curved line? Oh God. I, I have a bad joke about something, but I don't want to put it. It's so offensive. No. No, go for it. Go for it. Uh, so he has. Oh God, I forgot the medical illness for that thing. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh Parkinson's disease. Yeah. I don't know that one. What does it? Do? What does that mean? It pretty much makes you kind of shake, kind of shaky, very shaky. Uh, Michael J. Fox had that affliction. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you. you shake well, it him. could also be high blood pressure. That would also make ha- make hands jiggle all the time. Nervous, nervousness, over caffeination. <laughs> True, but no, no, I said bad joke. Eject, eject. <laughs> <laughs> No, he doesn't have any syndrome. He just he just can't do it. It's just like you know, I don't uh, know. Uh, it just it's just a thing. <laughs> okay. He try, but he tries hard. He tries hard, but he and he loves art. No matter how jiggly his line is, he still draws. No matter how much people are telling him, "Hey, your art is terrible. Go get a job." He's like, he doesn't <laughs> care. This is his love. This is his only meaning in life. Ah, uh, all right. Well, um, once that's fully up, do let me know, and I'll put in the show notes. And Corner, what about you? Where can they find you online and anything you want to promote? If they actually want me to, want to find me online, which I doubt they would, since I'm no one special, I do have a Tumblr. It's called Ask Level Up. I think Sweetie Bother, someone will put it on the show notes or somewhere. You can find it. Yay, okay. Everyone has the Tumblrs and uh, no Twitter, right? Uh, nope. Um, Not me, at least. Nope. I don't have Twitter. <laughs> That's cool. You kind of know? No, no. The, Tumblr's the, the only social media I have. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Facebook. I don't have anything. Uh, all right. And what about you, Gonzo? Where can I find you online and any projects that you want to promote? Uh, I haven't started on anything yet, but you can find me on YouTube. I have a Facebook page, no Twitter. I'm not sure if you want to be going near Tumblr, but if you want, you can try. (laughs) I've been on your Tumblr. Oh, God. I have no regrets. (laughs) I've also been there. It was glorious. Exactly. Do you want to promote anything? Yeah, I do. I'm basically trying to raise money in order to cover my trip to uh, BronyCon because, well, some people wanted me to come back, and I've offered uh, to be a co-vendor for a guy we did an interview with on my uh, po- on my other friend's podcast, the Mini Arcade Show. Uh-huh. Um, I pretty much agreed to help out with this uh, metal arts and crafts maker uh, named the Jack or whatnot, but unfortunately for me to make it there and uh, to help him out, I still need money to make, and I still need money to help um, pretty much me to get there and to survive there and to bring back uh, con merchandise uh, for not only me but uh, the people who help to donate. Uh-huh. I'm tr- currently right now trying to raise about seven hundred dollars. I've reached two hundred so far. I still need at least 400 total to in order to make the purchase because to make a purchase of a plane ticket because I burst uh, at the con and um, I will be traded up from you know a normal three day registration three day badge to a vendor uh, hall pass or vendor badge or whatever mm-hmm. and um, I still need to purchase the plane ticket though so yeah um, I'm I don't have a PayPal. But uh, my friend is uh, managing the uh, donations and funds and whatnot. He goes by um, uh, the name – Boredom is my middle name <laughs> on uh, – well, yeah, that's the same <laughs> on uh, Skype. But um, he can be reached – he pretty much accepts the donations. His PayPal uh, email it, account is Dark Kirby Phantom. All in one word, and I'll type it up here for this to be added. At uh, dark, I mean, sorry, dark Kirby Phantom at yahoo.com. All right, then I'll add that into the show notes. Then currently, right now, um, I'll even do stuff when we reach certain landmarks, like I'm supposed to do something for 200 donated so far. I'm trying to think of something for that, and uh, um, it'll all be live streamed or what, however, how, however, fits. Mm. All right, then. So I'll put all that into the show notes and make the finalize. 
And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. We have the Facebooks. James does not like the Facebooks. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. Uh, Me neither. Tumblr's... Listen, like, there's the thing between it and Tumblr. Tumblr's like the people that are cool and so cool, you just want to hang out with them. And Facebook is, the, unfortunately, the people you have hang out with in the past <laughs> and regret every minute of it. <laughs> That's sad. Mm-hmm. Oh, boys. Hey, Facebook's not that bad. <laughs> Tumblr is the cool school you wanted to hang out with. Facebook's the school you already went to. The boring one. <laughs> uh, anywho, I am Norman Sanzo. I am Rob Mewald. I am Corner Angie, and this is Best Podcast. Yay. And I am Mindless Gonzo. Thank you for listening. And next week, we'll try to be more entertaining and with Mo James Cork. If you don't like James, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>